Views. In the studio with me today, I'm so excited to welcome two of our newest religious sisters in the diocese. We have Sister Eileen with us here <laughs> and Sister Lynn here, and they are from the Pro Ecclesia Sancta Order. Um, welcome, ladies. I'm so happy to have you here. You've been here for about a month yeah, in the diocese. More, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. So um, I'm really excited to have you here and hear what you've been doing and what you are planning on doing here mm-hmm. and learn a little bit more about your order because I haven't uh, had a chance to do that too much yet. So, um, okay. So if you would, whichever of you wants to start, probably Sister Eileen, yeah. uh, if you'll tell us just a little bit about Pro Ecclesia Sancta. What does that mean? And uh, tell us about your order a little bit, if you would. Yeah, definitely. So Pro Ecclesia Sancta, it's in Latin and it means for the Holy Church. Okay. So our order is an ecclesial family it was founded in Peru in 1992, so almost 30, le- 30 wow. years. Okay. It's a Peruvian uh, community, and we have priests, brothers, and sisters. Okay. So we have the whole spectrum of religious in, in our community. And yes, our charism is to live and promote the vocation to holiness. Okay. So that's why for the Holy Church. Sure, sure. For Ecclesia Santa. So that is your focus, is to increase vocations to remind Remote. people yeah. that they're called to be holy. Right, right. Yes. Oh, that's that's yes. a great, oh my goodness, we need that. <laughs> it's very broad. We, we maybe need one of you to live with all of us. <laughs> Each and, one of us. And really in any um, vocation. So it could be married families in religious vocations mm-hmm. as well, but also um, we work a lot with youth and, and children yeah. and, and, and families as well. So Yeah, yeah. Um, so you said that is the charism. What else should we know about your order? Is there is there something specific? And I find it very interesting that it's in Peru, but now you're here. So how yeah. did you from your order end up here? <laughs> so we uh, like like I mentioned, we started in Peru, and then little by little, the Lord and many different opportunities came, and we have now houses in Spain, in Rome, in Ecuador, in Uruguay, and here in the states. And okay. in the states, we are in California which was the first one um, that we have in the States, right. mi- in Minnesota, and now here. Right. Yes. This and year. both of you were in Minnesota. Well, you were yes. in California originally, the way I, I understand it. in California one year, but be- before this past year, I was in California, but, but before that, I was in, in Minnesota. Right. Okay. Yes, mm-hmm. yes okay. in Minnesota. And yeah, that's, that's how where, we That's met. where I met Sister Eileen. Yeah, so they had just moved, actually, to um, the States, and I got to know them mm-hmm. through some of their college ministry. And so that so, was before she... Yeah, right. before being a right. sister, and then, um, so I also was in Minnesota before coming here, and spent some time in Peru as well, and then now, now I'm here. So. Right, right. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, can you? So how did you end up here? Because I'm sure a lot of people are thinking now. Wait a second, where did <laughs> sisters come from? Uh, this is mostly Bishop DeGrude's doing. Am I right? <laughs> he, yes. So he we... <laughs> he had some experience with you from his mm-hmm. from when he was in. The cities. In the cities, yes. So we arrived in 2012 to Minneapolis, the mm-hmm. sisters, because our priests were there before. And we met Bishop maybe three or four years ago, and we served with him in one of the parishes where he was. Oh, okay. Yes. So, well, we knew him before he was a bishop. And right. yes, we served for him like almost two two years. Okay. Um, and I think it went really well. Obviously. We- <laughs> So it was well, easy to work with him, and yeah, I think he really we had the knew same vision. That, yeah, he knew that that you had something that maybe we needed here, or that um, he wanted to see happen here. Happen here. So mm-hmm. that was that's good. Yeah. Um, so he got in contact with you. Must have been over the summer, or was it before that? Around that, I think. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we never when he left. You folks, we never like lost the connection with him. Right. And and he knew also our priests and our brothers and. And the community in general, right. so we never lost um, connection. And then sure. the providence of God make it work. So yep. Sister Lynn was in Minneapolis because the same thing is always like, who do you send? Because there are never enough sisters or right. Really. <laughs> right, right, exactly. But the providence of God made it that yeah. we two were able to to come. Right. And and yeah, I met Sister Lynn before she was a sister, so. It's been easy just to Good. be it's here been, yeah, together. Yeah, back together. And it's been a blessing. Yeah. People often ask, so how did you end up here? But I think we always kind of just say, it's the Lord. Like, he really... <laughs> you um, never know, yeah. Right. All of his ways, we just never quite know them or yeah. understand. <laughs> but we're really, really happy. Yeah. yeah. So. 
Okay, so I want to know a little bit about the two of you. I want to start with Sister Lynn, because Sister Lynn, you are actually from Iowa. Yeah, The way I understand yeah. it. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, mm -hmm. and then how you uh, ended up um, becoming a religious sister? Yeah. Yeah. So I, well, I am from Iowa, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Um, it's in the northeastern part. So being here, it feels right at home. Yep. Um, very similar. I'm reminded a lot of my hometown. And um, so I, I grew up, I have one older sister. Okay. So she's just 16 months older than me. We're really close. Oh, yeah. We used to like dress so we would be twins. Like people would think we we're twins. So we're, yeah, we're very, um, very close. Always have been. And she's actually a sister as well. Um, in the same order. In the same order. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So she's living in the Bloomington convent now. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, grew up, went to Catholic grade school, Catholic high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to study in the Twin Cities. That's where I met the sisters mm -hmm. um, when I was studying there and studied to be a dietitian, actually. So, okay. um, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> then the Lord, he changed that. Um, <laughs> but so I met the sisters um, when I was studying and got to know them more and started a small group with them and really um, was able to discern my vocation there and felt the calling to yeah. a religious life and uh, religious vocation and and so then well when I finished college graduated I entered um and I remember telling my parents and I was uh wanting to enter my sister had just entered the year before too so it was like this whole <laughs> yeah it was kind of happening yeah a lot going on um that was unexpected and and at first it was kind of challenging, but they, they were like, why Peru? Like, why this order, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Too far away. Well, it's so was far. It? What yeah. was it that, that drew you to this order? So it was actually, well, several things, but the charism of holiness, mm -hmm. living holiness, um, it's something that I had heard before, like, we're all called to go to heaven, like, but never actually, I never really understood like what that means right. or how I could live that. Like, I thought it was just for, you know, the saints that right. are like in the, I don't know, the stained glass windows. Right. So, um, <laughs> But they, I, they showed me and taught me how just in my college life, I could even strive for holiness and right. doing my homework well and studying, or if it's just being with my friends and my roommates, like having a good time and, um, or with my parents, just, yeah, and the little things, doing them always with love and mm -hmm. um, with the Lord. And so that really caught my attention. Um, and of course, their their joy and their youthfulness was mm -hmm. also something, and their closeness to the Lord, you can really um, tell. Right. Right. So that was, yeah, kind of what called me, um, caught my attention from their order. Right. Um, so then I was, yeah, able to enter. My parents were, were very supportive. Good. Um, and now really they feel like all Pro Ecclesia Sancta, the priests, the brothers, the sisters, all over the world are are their family too. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a huge blessing. Yeah, they, That's great. they really do. So. That's great. Um, uh, you guys are really out in the community. Like this is not an order that um, stays in the convent and so on. You're very active out in the community. So um, I find that really interesting. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you, Sister Lynn, so you're, you went to school for diet for it to be a dietitian. So mm -hmm. are, are you keeping everybody in order <laughs> over there? Is yeah, that what your we job was? We tried, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we were just talking about that this morning and something that I always learned um, and not just, I'm not just saying this, but we, they, we'd always say like everything in moderation. So, um, but it's true. Like I do see how my background has also helped me. Yeah. To serve maybe mm -hmm. better. Sure. Where the Lord has put me now. So sure. yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sister Eileen, we tell us a little bit about you. Please. Yes. So I grew up in Lima, mm -hmm. in Peru. Um, Catholic. Very different from here. Very. <laughs> <laughs> it's a city very crowded in Lima, um, but all my family is there, so we have big families. In, I just have one one brother, but big families, grandparents, and mm -hmm. so it's always very family oriented. Sure. I didn't go to a Catholic school. Okay. But Peru, it's a Catholic country, so right. we still still have some religion classes. But my family, we used to go to masses on Sundays, but it was not. Mm, that we really practice it. Just my grandma. She sure. was very faithful. She pray every day and make us pray. Like <laughs> uh, she's in heaven now. But uh, yeah, she was a very faithful uh, woman. Right. And then, well, we used to go to masses every Sunday, like I was saying. But then it was just when I turned almost sixty years old that I met Pro Ecclesia Santa and mm -hmm. the sisters. And at that time, they all were very young. They right. <laughs> right. Started. So it really called my attention. Um, um, their, their joy. They were all in black. Mm -hmm. So who wants to dress like black? Nobody. <laughs> so I was like, why are they so happy? <laughs> uh, they're young and they're just all in black. And and they help us to 
you're ready for confirmation. Mm -hmm. So they came to our school, and that's how we met. And I had a really deep experience with the Lord that, that year in my retreat, but I didn't want to be a sister. So okay. I... <laughs> you so weren't too day. sure about that part. No. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just understood that the Lord loved me, and He wanted me to be a friend, and that was possible, to mm -hmm. have a friendship with Jesus. And, and this idea of holiness became a reality, like... Uh, for Sister Lynn. Right. But that was that was it. Like <laughs> that was as far of, as you were taking it yeah, at that moment. Yeah, the idea of religious <laughs> life was not part of my life. Like I st stay around uh, the sisters and the brothers and Pro Ecclesia Santa. I helped them as much as we I could. I went to college. I studied business. Mm -hmm. But it was just in my senior year in which I start asking myself this question, like, is this it? Like, I had everything that I wanted. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I loved my school, what I was studying, my work, everything. But I was a good Catholic um, young woman, but I think it wasn't enough. Right. So the Lord just put myself in the situation in which I have to think about really what is what he wants for, for you. Yeah. And, and then I had to say yes. And very fast. <laughs> and he has a way of doing joined. that. <laughs> <laughs> and then joined the sisters. And since that moment, I haven't had any regret. It's just peace. It doesn't mean that it's easy, like right. every vocation, but right. just, yeah, peace in my heart. And yeah, no regrets. Good. No. And I've been a sister for 15 already. 15 no, years. 15 years. Mm -hmm. you, that yeah. doesn't seem possible because you don't look very old. <laughs> I'm not that young, but um, 15 years. Yeah, it's been very it's nice. Been a while, but yeah. So, what is it uh, that you have loved the most about being a religious sister? I think for me, first of all, that you have Jesus in your house, like you have the Blessed Sacrament in our yes. chapels. Yes. So that's a great gift, mm -hmm. and, and like you were saying, we are very active, like we do many ministries, but we also are contemplative because we spend um, time in our chapel. In our chapel uh, two hours praying. a day, I believe. Is that yeah, right? At two, least two mm -hmm. hours. So that's a huge blessing just to have that at, at your house. And mm -hmm. then definitely like the community and the family right. inside the order, mm -hmm. but also all the family that you uh, adopt, right. like wherever you are. I'm not in Peru. Mm -hmm. I've not been in Peru for nine years. And my family now is in Minnesota, like, of course, in Peru, but right. I mean, in Minnesota, in, in California, and here, and yep. my Pro Ecclesia family, it keeps growing. Right, right, right. <laughs> so who needs a bunch of brothers and sisters, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have so them all over. It. How about 20. you, Sister Lynn? What have you really grown to love? Um, I think kind of along the same line as Sister Eileen was saying, the community, you really do feel it. Um, it feels like home. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter where you are and if it's just like the two of us right now or if it's in Peru when all the sisters get together, um, I think it's that support for each other in this journey to holiness because um, we know it's not always easy. And so that right. support um, and really just yeah, getting to know each other and and having that, um, yeah, that family and like Sister said, here with the lay people that we work with too, um, it's something very special that I guess I had never really expected. Right. Um, I didn't think about that before entering like sure. the community side of things. And but yeah, it's it's a huge gift. Good. And we we have just one. I have one brother and Cecilia have yeah, one, one sister. sister. So now right. having like, wow, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I never would have imagined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's a gift. Right. <laughs> if you've just joined us, uh, we are talking to Sister Eileen and Sister Lynn. They are the two Pro Ecclesia Sanctus sisters who have recently arrived in our diocese. Um, okay, so you're here. What are you going to be doing here? Because I think that's a big question for a lot of people. <laughs> what are they going to do here with themselves? So you can tell us, Sister Eileen. Yes, yeah, so... We are serving at the O'Gorman High School and Junior High. Right mm -hmm. now we already started. So we're trying to help with campus ministry, just uh, support our youth and families in their faith journey. Mm -hmm. So that's been great. Like uh, activities, we attended a retreat, uh, small groups, just to be able to support as much as we can and helping our youth to, uh, to pray, mm -hmm. our teachers, our parents. So uh, that's part of the... Uh, main thing we're doing right now we're also trying to be part of the O'Gorman system like okay. trying to be part of the elementary schools too. Okay. so sure. mm -hmm. that's where something that we're looking forward to to be able to come to school and just um visit uh, with the younger ones yeah. with the yeah. little <laughs> ones help them to pray and just to be and uh, they are already very open to the lord but just 
little reminders yes. with, with our presence and the same to support our teachers when they need it. Mm -hmm. um, so that is part of what we're going to do in the O'Gorman uh, system. And then we're praying and discerning also how to be part of the whole diocese okay. uh, mm -hmm. with the D&E office. Yep. Uh, so we want to do a lot of things, but we'll see where <laughs> the Lord leads, yeah. leads us. Yeah. But yeah. yes, like families are part of our passion just right. to help everyone to grow in holiness. I, I heard you, either both of you or one of you were at the well, that <laughs> yes. group, quite yes. late. Yes. You guys must have been having a really good conversation yeah. because, uh, now I don't know much about that. Is that high school or junior high? high that's the high school. That's high uh -huh. school. Okay. So that's obviously was a good, a good visit. Yeah. yeah they've already schools. had two this year. So they had one the f second day of school and it was on the football field at the high school and it was, yeah, a beautiful night, a uh, really great turnout. So it's kind of games, um, social time, and mm -hmm. then we do praise and worship and prayer. Um, so all the high schoolers come, they have their campus ministry team that kind of leads and puts yeah. it together. And um, it's a really good, I think, opportunity for them. And, and we've been very surprised at, at just how, um, yeah, how open they are. And yeah. they really have this desire, you can tell, to grow closer to the Lord. That's and, good. And the conversation after after this time mm -hmm. of praise and worship, yeah, they're great just to talk to to, to them and their experience. Yep. And mm -hmm. we're looking forward to have a retreat soon. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important for those kids, especially junior high, high school, to have religious sisters, priests, brothers around uh, so they can experience that. Because there was, there's been, well, I grew up in a, I went to a public school and so I didn't have you know, sisters around yeah. and so on. So you don't really get exposed to that. So it's really good to uh, get that exposure for the kids because mm -hmm. otherwise they really don't understand that you're real people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really, really like open to us, the good. conversations, asking questions yeah. um, about what do we do? Yeah. And, and also things, why do we wear these? Um, it's been great. A yeah, great yeah. opportunity to get to know them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a question we should answer uh, or ask and answer. <laughs> uh, for those who are watching the video, of course, you're going to see Sister Eileen has a black habit on and Sister Lynn has a white habit. So mm -hmm. can you tell us what the distinction is here yes so mm -hmm. the black veil mm -hmm. is i have done my perpetual vows okay sister yeah. lane it's done temporary vows so okay. uh-huh it's kind of the exterior sign for people to know kind of where we're at so we renew our temporary vows usually between well five six years okay um and then we do the perpetual vows. Okay. So mm -hmm. there'll be a little bit for you yet before you do yeah, perpetual vows? Yeah, I've been vows? a sister for six years. Okay. Um, two years of temporary vows. So a few more okay. to go. Okay. Yeah. But they go so fast. So they really, think of a night, by. you're fully, <laughs> yeah. totally committed. I don't know. Sister one's like, well, maybe it hasn't flown by. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, it really has. Good. I look back and they, yeah, do, I think it really has gone quickly. So that's good. Mail. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> um, is there anything you're looking forward to the most here or, or is it? Just been yeah. a whatever happens happens. Oof, it's been great. I it's think been, it's been great. We I think it's been very easy the transition, Good. and we're looking forward to not just to be the new ones, just yeah. to be part part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. to get to know everyone, to yeah. people be more comfortable with us. We're really looking forward just to be here. Um, longer. Yeah. So, yeah. I know. Uh, I think some people they've already said like, oh, so you're gonna be here like. More than you know, just a visit. Right. And so we're we're staying, and and we really hope people can yeah get to know us. Yes. And if we're they just see in the grocery store or out about <laughs> to just say hi or yeah. in your the parishes because yeah we really do want to to know everyone. Right. So yes, these ladies are very approachable at least from what I have seen. <laughs> so if you see them out, I would absolutely introduce yourself, uh, chat with them. Um, what do you need from the people of the diocese? Lots of prayers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lots of prayers. Hey, prayers is good. always and, and what you were saying, just to come and, and so we're trying to get to know everyone like by names because that's right. important. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to <laughs> in this we're getting so far, older. yeah. We're, and, that's a lot but, to remember. But, <laughs> but just to people to just to come and say yeah. hello and if mm -hmm. they need something, just like ask or prayers. Like prayers. Yes. we like we say we have a chapel in our house. Mm -hmm. We Write all the intentions that we receive oh, and great. pray and great. pray mm -hmm. for, for um, the people who ask those intentions. And mm -hmm. So that's what we would love to do. Okay. Um, yes, and, and be part of the families. Yes. Um, yes, but it's been it's really, really a blessed time for good. us. Good, good. Well, yeah. we welcome you here. We're really glad to have you here. And uh, I'm looking forward to <laughs> hopefully doing a few stories here and there for the Bishop's <laughs> Bulletin and just getting to know you a little bit more and see what you have in store for us. We're very excited. 
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yes. We'll see what Delorja has in store for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for everyone. For all of us. Yes. All right. Well, but thanks for good. being here with us, thank ladies. Thank you for yeah, having thank you, us. Renee. You yeah. bet. All right. Uh, if you haven't found us on social media already, you can find us at Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, and YouTube at SF Diocese anytime, or come to our website and visit us at sfcatholic.org. That's it for us today. Hope you'll join us again next week for more Catholic Views.